Shalom, first and foremost, Kol Eloyim, Wakabah, La Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushah, Ba'ashim, Ra'am Chakwadash. And double understood the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the old for elect tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And this is a, re a reply to uh, Apostle Tahar's um, video that he uh, uploaded. Uh, the small hats, the biggest haters on the planet Earth. And I definitely second that. All right, that's straight up facts. All right, but um, you know, they masquerade around the world as this. As if there are these, you know, God-fearing, uh, innocent, uh, moral people, when that's far from the truth, they're the complete opposite. All right, it says that in uh, the book of Isaiah, that, you know, even though, let, let me get it real quick. Because they, you know, portray to be the Lord's people, which that's really us, but they don't uphold none of his laws, none of his ways. That shows you that they're really not the Lord's people. They're the wicked. All right, Isaiah 26, verse 10, it says, Let favor be shewed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly? And, you know, they're doing that to this very day. All right, you go over there to uh, the land of uh, Israel. They doing what the hell they want to do over there. And, uh, you know, you got the biggest... Uh, LGBTQ parade on, on earth in that land. You got nude beaches. You got all type of abominable things. You got, uh, you know, the Temple Mount. You got, you know, a mosque where where the heathen worship Allah and other deities. You know, so it's just, you know, they, they, they're not keeping the, uh, the laws in the land over there. They're just being preserved in the Holy Land right now, you know, pursuant to a uh, prophecy, as it was said in uh, Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, that our land would be uh, under the possession of uh, all Idumia and, and, and the residue of the heathen. But that's going to be only for a, a period of time. But I'll finish in the verse, it says, it will not behold the majesty of the Lord. And anywhere they go in the world, it's the same same way. And they have their own little sections or communities. And, uh, you know, they stay separated from everybody else. And they're real uh, racist, man. And they'll be buddy-buddy with you if you do business with them. And, and, you know, some way they can find a way to actually leech off of you. You know, exploit you. You know, then they'll, they'll be cool with you then. All right. But anyway, you know, I hope they don't try to strike me. But I'm just telling the truth. All right. And that's, you know, that's another thing. When you speak against these people or about these people, you know, you get penalized for it. But uh, you could say any any manner of, uh, you know, you could, you could say all manner of things about Jake. And, uh, you know, it's, that's that's not a, a, a big issue. That's not a crime. You know, it's not uh, penal, penalized. You know, but that goes to show you that we're definitely those people, man, because we will be bywares and proverbs among all people. So that so they can get away with saying shit about us, but you can't say nothing about these people. Well, they don't fit that curse then. All right. But anyway, um, I'm just replying to this. And then, you know, I, this was a little short clip. You know, the apostle, uh, you know, he's, he broke it down in his video, but you know, I went and uh, watched it. And, uh, you know, it's you know, clearly a, a so-called black woman. All right, I believe uh, she might be Benjamin. And uh, she found out that her uh, grandmother was a was a was a, a so-called Jewish woman, a small hat. All right. And, uh, you know, if only she knew the truth about who, who those people are. All right. They're not uh, from the tribe of Judah. Uh, they're they're literally uh, sons of uh, Esau. That's who they descend from. They're, they're Edomites, you know, uh, predominantly of the tribe of uh, Amalek, which was uh, one of the grandsons of uh, Esau. And then, you know, once you figure that out, then you understand why, you know, the hostility and the hatred, you know, is there. 
But anyway, um, hopefully you don't try to strike me if I play this, because I, I know this is the Apostle to Hardy didn't really want to play the video. But you know what I'll do is uh, if 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 they block it or whatever, then I'll just uh, you know, re-edit the video and, and you know take the video out. And then just, you know, try to re-upload it. But if not, then, you know, hey. But uh, I, I think uh, this is a pretty decent uh, story. Because it really proves that they are the biggest haters. And, you know, we've had uh, war with them for ages. And I'm going to bring out the scriptures on that. You know, going back to when we came out of Egypt, one of the first nations that attacked us. With those people, so let's uh, let me let me let me play this. Y'all can listen to it, and then uh, we'll get some scriptures. There's a few things that she also mentioned is, is scriptural, so let's uh, listen. It's the white lady, <laughs> and they were like, "No, that's your great grandma. She's Jewish." And I was like, "What? She's Jewish?" I'm my aunt Zeke. I live in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. My mom is from Jamaica. When I was 15 or 16, went to Jamaica for a family event and we were all back in my grandmother's house. So I saw a picture of my great grandmother on the wall and they told me that she's Jewish. I needed to find a different spiritual home and then to find out that there's this Jewish person in my family. I was like, oh, that's it. My first time going to a, a Shabbat, my levitating kippah on top of the shro situation and the talit katan just like draped around my shoulders. And I'm like, Rabbi, should I do all of these things? And he was just like, and show you how lost Jake is. It's always when Jake find out about, you know, that that heritage, they go the 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 small hat route and mimic, you know, them their practices. You know, they think they're supposed to go in, in into the synagogue on a Saturday, you know, worship at the Shabbat service. You know, they'll put a damn uh, small hat on their head, you know, try to uh, emulate them, which. You know, those those are straight bastards, man. All right, and a lot of the things that they, the, the customs that they keep was 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 taught to them. All right, but you know, the little lock on the side of their uh, head, you know that 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 right there, you know they came up with that because they try to um, fit the curse or not curse, but they try to fit um, the description of the scripture where it talks about how you know we would have. Uh, you know, locks on our head. All right. Um, you know, different different things of that nature. All right. We know that uh, their uh, forefathers they were converted uh, to Judaism. All right, going back to uh, was it the eighth century uh, Kagan Bullen, and even prior to that, you know, you had a lot of Edomites that um were converted going back to the time of the uh. The Asmonian dynasty, towards the end of it, when you had John Hyrcanus, you know, he did a forceful conversion, all right, of, of those uh, Edomites, those Idumians, and uh, they became like uh, the Jews. They took on the, the customs of the Jews. So, you know, that's how they came into that. But, you know, these are actually Edomite, Edomites, all right, still mad, you know, to this very day that... They didn't get that blessing. So that's where all that hatred and hostility comes from. So anyway, let's uh go back and listen. She needs to, you know, wake up to the truth that you're not a, a, a you're not your 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 grandmother has nothing to do with your nationality. Uh, you're determined by your father. All right? Your pedigree, which goes through your, your father, your father's line. All right. And, she, and then she would have to understand that, you know, she's an Israelite, okay? More than likely of the southern kingdom, you know, Judah, Benjamin. So uh, let's uh, continue. No. <laughs> if you're really sure, then we'll do classes, celebrate the different holidays, come to shul, etc., etc. 
So I decided to move to Brooklyn and I needed to find a new synagogue. Now I'm in Crown Heights. Around Hanukkah time, a friend of mine told me like, you should go check out 770 for this huge menorah. I found the synagogue, great. So I went, went to the women's section. Eventually I see these two women. And so then they start yelling at me and they're like, get out, get out, get out. And they start telling me how they're gonna call the police. And they chased after me. They even spit after me and told me. So you see what they did, they scolded her. All right, they, they told her to get the hell out, chased her, and spit at her. That's straight up hatred, man. And like the Apostle Tahar said, you know, what about the law of the stranger? They come into your community, you ain't supposed to uh, vex a stranger. That Exodus uh, 2022. See if I can find that. Showing you that they don't, they don't even, they don't keep, they don't believe. <laughs> They don't keep the laws, man. They do not keep the law whatsoever. Exodus 22 and uh, 21, it says, Thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him, for you are strangers in the land of Egypt. That's exactly what they're, what, what they're doing. So they're in violation of the law. So these, these people are not right. They're not the Lord's people at all. How could they be the people? How could they uh, represent? How how would they be a a, a light to the uh, to the Gentiles? They they can't even keep the way because it's not in them. Like I just read in Isaiah uh, twenty six. All right, just can't get right. Now, another thing she said that they chased after her and and spit at her. Let's go to uh, Psalms 25 and 19. They, they hate us, man. Psalms 25 and 19 says, Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. All right, and that's all of our enemies, man. These uh, other nations, the heathens, they hate us. Who hate us the most, though? Esau. Going all the way back to when, when uh, Jacob received the blessing. All right. He, he he hated he hated them ever since. But that same energy goes back to when they were Cain and Abel. He always had a, a, a hateful spirit. You know. And you see it play out even to this very day. Unloading whole uh, magazines on 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 a, a Jake that happened to be fleeing from you out of fear. Shoot him, shoot at him 90 times, 60 bullets shoot through them and that's that's cruel hatred you know let's get uh she said they spit on her let's go to job 30. i think it's job 30 and like 10. yeah job 30 verse 10 it says they abhor me they flee far from me and spare not to spit in my face and these low base devils, all right, who have, I mean, their only claim to fame is, you know, being uh, uh, professional victim villains, you know, playing the victim card and fabricating a, 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 a so called event and became super filthy rich off of it and got, you know, the West and everybody uh, given to them billions of dollars and reparation money. You know, and then next thing you know, they take over the whole world, take over all the industries. Come on, man. But yet, you know, you're you're a byword to them. They look down upon you. They they view you as scum. And that's also in the curse as well. Uh, was that Lamentations three and forty five? They treat her like she was trash. But it's because they know they they know who you are you, and they know that you're their enemy. Amalek and the Edomites they're the biggest enemies of Israel, and this is what this this woman here doesn't understand. Lamentations three verse forty five it says, "Thou hast made us as the offscoring and refuse in the midst of the people." 
All right. We're we're a, a, a refuse, man. We don't we don't want you around. We don't want to be around you, and you don't we don't want you in our in our vicinity. So they treat you like you're trash. Okay. So this is what she uh you know received being under that curse. All right. But little does she know that you're the she's she's a real uh uh Jew, Israelite. Now let's go to uh, Exodus. Like I mentioned, you know they were the, one of the first nations that we ended up going to war with when we came out of Egypt. Is uh, Exodus seventeen and verse eight, and it says, "Then came Amalek and fought with Israel in Rephidim, and they came and attacked us unprovoked." It says, and Moses said unto Joshua, choose out men and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow, I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of the Most High Power in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he let, his, when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hand hands were heavy and they took a stone and put it under him and he sat thereon and Aaron and her stayed up his hand the one on the on the one side and the other on the other side and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun and Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword you know and Joshua his name was in the Hebrew is Yahushai so he was a deliverer he was a savior at that time you know, deliver us. All right, when we went to war, you know, he won wars for us. All right. It says, and the Lord said unto Moses, write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And that's going to happen, you know, when Yahweh Shai comes back. All right, when you read uh, Numbers, the 24th chapter, in which, you know, uh, Balaam, you know, he was given an insight because the Lord uh, put him in a trance and gave him a vision of what the Israelites would do in the latter day. And this is what he had to say concerning Amalek. Uh, Numbers 24. And uh, I think I might have to start at like maybe 20. And I can't wait for this too. I freaking can't wait, man. Because they're, they're the worst of the worst. I'll start at verse uh, 17. And it says, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. All right? The one who basically is going to govern Israel. All right? Yahushai. Yahushai is, is that star that, that's going to come out of Jacob. All right, and the government is going to be upon his shoulder. He's the ruler out of Israel. All right, the king of kings. And shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheph. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. And Israel shall do valiantly. You know, because, you know, we're going to wipe, we're going to tear their asses up. And we're also going to possess their land. It's not going to be any need for them to possess it because... They're going to be in captivity, and then eventually, the Lord's going to discard them from the earth, pursuing the um, Obadiah verse eighteen. Okay, y'all you already know that that precept. So that land is just going to be an extension of the land of Judah. It says, "Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city." And when he looked on Amalek, all right, the small had people. He took up his parable. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some actual Israelites among them, but a lot of them, for the most part, they 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 go back to Amalek, Edom, Esau, which some of them already know. The Rothschilds, they know that they're uh, Edomites. All right, their name meaning red shield. They know that they're Edomites. It says, and said Amalek was the first of the nations, but this, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. 
the Lord's going to wipe out the uh, the memory of their ass, you know, once they uh, put out the earth. Okay, but they're going to, but at, at at one point, you know, they were the head over everybody. That's why they're in position of power. They're the head. The word uh, first in the Hebrew is um bar barayatha, if I'm not mistaken, which means the uh, the head, the chief. And that's why they're on top right now. Amalek was one of the dukes of Edom. All right. So going back, you know, this is who we had war with. And this is what the Lord uh, said to Moses. That he's going to put out the remembrance of the ass from under the heaven, man. All right. But our biggest haters, Haman, he, 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 he descended from uh, Amalek. All right. And now you see the energy behind uh, vocab, why he do what he do. That's, that's straight up, he, that dude got undying hatred for the Israelites. That's why he'll go so hard the way he do lying and coming against uh, the truth. Because he's he's one of them as well, all right? He ain't no, he ain't no Sicilian. It says, uh, verse 15, it says, Moses built an altar and called the name of it Yahweh Nas, uh, Nasi. For he said, because the Lord have sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. All right, and we are at war to this very day. All right, the, the, the people who make, all right, who, who, who's in control of uh, the pharmaceutical industry, same people, and they've been causing all type of death, mainly amongst, well, really worldwide, but, you know, our people have been the target. All right? The push of uh, these different movements that caused destruction to our people. They the ones that uh, fund uh, funded, like guys like George Soros, the satanic uh, music industry that keeps demons on our people and keep them immoral and in darkness. Well, who 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 controls that industry? Who do Jay got to sign that contract to? These people. So it's always been war with them. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 25th chapter. <clears throat> yeah, De uh, Deuteronomy 25 and 17 then says, Remember what Amalek did unto thee by the way when you were come forth out of Egypt, how he met thee by the way and smote the hindmost of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee. When thou was faint and weary, he, he feared not the Most High. Therefore it shall be when the Lord thy power have given thee rest from all thine enemies round about and the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven, thou shalt not forgive, forget it. Now, right now, they possess the land right now, but the Lord's going to wipe them out. And they're going to be the uh, cause of why the West is involved in, in, in the war of Armageddon with Russia and, and, you know, those other countries over there. All right, that whole Ukraine situation, they're over there. They're, they're the, the main reason why. Their puppet president, he's one of them. All right. So the Lord, he's, he's, he's going to, you know, make an example out of, the, out of this nation for the whole world to see. They ain't done too much in the earth. So, you know, she didn't know all this, but, you know, she going to have to wake up eventually. All right. But um, I, I, I guess I'll let this play out and then uh, we'll close out. Hopefully they don't, they don't uh, block me. Don't come back here again. Leave, I cried. I never thought that this would happen in New York. So then I think to myself, I won't let her affect my journey, my experience here. I'm persistent about the things that I want. So then I think to myself, I need backup. <laughs> so I talk to my neighbor and she agrees to take me on a Shabbos. So I go there 
And again, the same woman says, the Rebbe doesn't want you here. He hates people like you. And my friend stands up and says, the Rebbe. See, that, come on, man. But yet, you know, you speak the truth or that's hate speech or that's anti-Semitism. When you point these things out, the hateful shit that they do, they'll throw it, they'll reverse, do, do reverse psychology you know, throw the, the, the Uno reverse card and claim the anti-SIM card. These people are, 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 are highly evil, man. You see why the Lord said what he said. Be respected and loved all the people. And if anything, he doesn't like people like you who discriminate. And I was just like so overjoyed to have an ally. I do feel at home in the Chabad world. So one summer, uh, there was this thing called the knockout game. Random teenagers roaming the Crown Heights streets and just punch Jewish people as hard as possible, not caring whether they were um, old, young, boy, girl. I was looking like she's, you know, sympathizing. You know, you receive this hatred and then one, one rabbi devil comes and embrace you. And now you just, you know, but I, you know, they are, are women, you know. Anyway, you know, I'm, I think I'm gonna close it right there. But I think the, you know, the point is already made, and this is really just land backing off the elder apostle Tahar, the video that he did. They're the, they are biggest haters, man, and that's that's a fact. All right, and and you know that woman need to wake the hell up, man. I wouldn't be around them people. I would not be in that community. Okay. So anyway. You know, and this is the video here. Um, I'm pretty sure most of y'all subscribed, already subscribed to the Apostles page. So, you know, you can go ahead and, and uh, you know, check it out. Um, you know, if you subscribed and also, you know, here's the video here. And he already left a link to the description box right there. And I'm going to do the same. All right. And there's many other, you know, stories like this. Okay. And these people, they, they, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end off with that. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shai. Until the next lesson, Shalom.